In this video, we will first be discussing the benefits of online learning for teachers and students, then the technical barriers teachers and students face with online learning, and lastly, the possible solutions to the barriers of online learning that were addressed. Educators are gradually finding new ways to implement technological devices like laptops, mobile phones, and tablets into their instruction. Many studies have argued that these technological changes to traditional classroom-based learning have shown many benefits to students and teachers. For example, according to Mayadi and Kademi, learners are actively involved in learning activities and tasks by interaction and collaboration when using technological devices. Through online learning, students can develop their listening skills and their speaking skills through alternative means of participating in discussions. Teachers can use online instruction to enhance and expand their teaching in various ways, such as uploading recorded lectures, creating online quizzes, posting online discussions and articles, and sharing relevant podcasts. The openness of online learning allows teachers to learn more about their students, making it easier to create a positive learning atmosphere. Finally, some research demonstrates that learners who participate in online or technologically supported courses could significantly outperform peers in traditional classroom-based learning groups. This is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the benefits that students and teachers can experience with online learning. Along with the benefits of online instruction, educators and students also face barriers to online learning including barriers to access, training, and support. According to Mayadi and Kademi, low availability of technological devices such as a computer, tablet, or smartphones and a stable internet connection present barriers to access for online learning for both teachers and students. Reisner also argues that many schools lack the internet needed for online instruction. Lack of access to the necessary technology and the internet connection can negatively impact students' engagement and overall learning. Teachers also face restricted access to resources and learning materials that are accessible to students. Mayadi and Kademi also argued that many teachers lack training in how to plan and implement online instruction effectively. This lack of training leaves teachers lacking the skills needed to design online instruction and to select appropriate materials such as open educational resource and to facilitate student engagement and interaction. Inadequate support is another barrier that teachers and students face with online learning. Mayadi and Kademi state that support barriers often start at the policy level. There is a significant lack of policies that outline and provide funding for technological support staff required to plan, organize, and implement quality online instruction. Lack of support leaves teachers unprepared as new technological advances occur. Teachers are also left unprepared to effectively address challenges that will arise with online learning. And as a result, students are left lacking support. This lack of support at a policy level negatively impacts the quality of instruction that students receive. If teachers are not provided adequate support, then they are unable to properly support their students' needs and address challenges students may face with online learning. There are possible solutions to the barriers of access, support, and training that educators and students face with online learning. A solution for the lack of access to quality internet services could be school districts developing partnerships with internet companies like AT&T, Verizon, or T-Mobile to provide affordable and high quality broadband connections for eligible students. A solution for the lack of access to reliable technological devices could be school districts working with nonprofit companies that specialize in collecting donated devices like laptops, tablets, and smartphones. According to Reisner, the demand for online instruction has increased over the years, but in order for these programs to be effective, they need to be carefully designed and cannot be replicas of in-person instruction. Teachers need training and support in order to carefully design and effectively implement online instruction. A solution to the lack of teacher training 
would be to provide professional development for existing teachers to learn about instructional design and technology. For example, teachers can explore various instructional design models such as the ARCS model of motivational design and the ADDI model. They can also explore how to select, critically evaluate, use, and implement open educational resources with the needs of a diverse population of learners in mind. Teacher preparation programs should require prospective teachers to take courses in instructional design and technology like Cal State LA does. A solution to the lack of support would be to allocate more funding in schools to hiring technical support staff. Technical support staff should have backgrounds in instructional design and technology in order to provide the support teachers need. Monthly meetings in person or via Zoom should address new technologies, teacher concerns, and learner and parent concerns. Learners and their parents should be included in these meetings because their questions, needs, and concerns are important. These meetings will allow educators, support staff, administrators, and learners and their families to reflect on how online instruction is working for teachers and learners. Then, changes can be made to better serve teachers, learners, and families. Overall, online instruction has the capacity to enhance student learning and engagement and to provide increased access to content if designed and implemented effectively with the needs of a diverse population of learners in mind. However, barriers to access, training, and support need to be addressed in order for online learning to reach its full potential. In the future, our hope is that these barriers will be addressed and that all students and teachers will have adequate access training and support. This increased access training and support will enhance the benefits of online instruction for teachers and students and prepare a new generation of learners that are well versed in skills related to technology, collaboration, and communication that are necessary to navigate and thrive in our ever-changing society.